Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me once again. You are always most welcome. Today, something very different for me. Um, a kit has been sent to me by one of our, one of our viewers, uh, Stuart. And he wanted me to see, he said, what, have you seen Copper State models? And uh, several of you have asked me this actually in the last year. And I keep saying, no, I haven't actually seen any of their stuff. Um, so it's time I did. And uh, obviously Stuart thought this was a perfect opportunity. He has got this German World War I Italian armour, used by the Italians and produced by the Germans apparently. Uh, and it's a, I'm not sure how you pronounce it really, it's a, an I, IZM, a 1ZM. Uh, anyway, it's an armoured car. Uh, and it's their product, Copper State Models product 35008. So we thought we'd have a nosy at this, see what it says. Um, mm, 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 looks like we don't actually have any history on the side, but we'll get into that in a second. But what you do get is one, two, three, four options in terms of uh, schemes. And it shows that the Italians are using these things um, in northeast Italy, uh, Rhodes Island in the Mediterranean. Uh, Ethiopia and in Barcelona in the Spanish Civil War, much later in 1938. Uh, yeah, a bit, a bit out of it. It's, uh, it's a World War I product. Um, but you can imagine these things did get used later and that's obviously what's happened here. So, let's have a look at what we've got then. Copper State Models. It's a completely new manufacturer for me. Long overdue, really, that I'll have a look at one of their products. Let's have a nosy. Let's see what we have got. So, oh, okay, so it's like a box within a box, a bit like an ICM. I haven't opened this before, it's completely the first time ever. Oh, okay. Okay, they've done one of these, like, a, okay, they've done a instructions like a, an original manual, a bit like uh, Zuki Mura do. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. Okay, I like that. And we've got lots and lots of plastic, so let's get that out. He wants me to open the bags. Um, I'm going to see if I can try and reseal them for him later. Let's have a look. Something different, which I wasn't anticipating. Um, I think he, he didn't ask me specifically about this one. He said, I'll send you a couple through, because he was worried they might say, oh, I'm not interested in that, you know. But you've got to keep an open mind. But look at this. Isn't it cleverly done? I'm just going to bury this in. You know, uh, bury my remote control with all the plastic. Let's have a look at this. I must say, I like the style of the way they're going about this. This is really cool. So, yeah, it's like a, an original 1943 date on it, look. Manual. <laughs> so, it's got the whole history about it. Oh, it's Lancia. So, it's a Lancia. Ah, oh, Lancia Armour Car. Well, I won't read all this out because it's very, very long, but there's a lovely uh, in depth history about it. The Lancia Car, Armoured Car Lancia 1ZN. I don't know why they didn't put Lancia on the front, that would have made more sense, but anyway. Yeah, so they started in 1917. Um, so this one, yeah, started in 1917 and was used well beyond it. But look at some of, the, look at some of this. It's, this is like a proper book. So we've got uh, examples of them in photographs here. Uh, in Ethiopia, uh, in, on the streets of Barcelona in Spain. Uh, Samo Island, which I think is in the Mediterranean, <coughs> and then northeast Italy. Um, looks like the Germans. The Germans are at the side here. Not sure if there's a German driving it. So there's a German soldier there. Um, and then northeast Italy again. Again, more Germans using it here. And then northeast Italy, 1944. So it went right through the Second World War using these. What a lovely book though, I, love, I like that. In the photographs, there's pages and pages, there's six pages there. Six and a half pages of history, including the photos. That's brilliant, that's exactly what we like, isn't it? I don't just want a pile of plastic in a box, I want to learn about something. That's the part of the fun is, is the history of the actual subject. So, then they go into, <laughs> I'm liking it already. I think he knows, uh, I think he thought, he thought oh, I bet he liked this. I'll win him over. <laughs> Look at this! So you've got the sprue map in the almost photographic form here. And then it gets into the build itself. And it's got a very wing nut wings quality about it, hasn't it? So you're going to start by building up your Lancia engine. <coughs> doing all the uh, building up from the bottom, from the sump upwards. Uh, the main the engine uh, body. And then the cylinder head going on. 
then we've got all the ignition wires going in there. Uh, you've got the air intake. Is that the air intake? Oh, no, it's the breather pipe, I think. Sorry, breather pipe. And again, it's telling you what they are. If you look closely, you can see that it's got detail of what everything is. Gearbox assembly, putting that together. It's just like wing wings, isn't it? I can see why people like these guys. And then you're going to build your chassis rail and then pop your engine and gearbox in there. Then you've got your radiator coming in. Um, and then you've got the... Yeah, it wasn't the air intake, it was actually the, uh, it was actually the intake of the cold water from the radiator. <clears throat> and then you've got your leaf spring suspension going on. And you've got your differential um, prop shaft being put in on the chassis. Then you're building up your steering mechanism. Front axle. Exhaust pipe and muffler going in here. And then you've got a hole you need to fill. This is part of the armour plating now. Playing the decals. And this is the driver's armour protection and then the, co the sort of cockpit, I was going to say. <laughs> the sort of internals of the cab, I should say. And then you're going to build, it's got armour plate all around the engine, obviously. Um, shows the brakes and the, uh, the brake and accelerator. Uh, pedals there with the steering wheel, you've got the handbrake here. <laughs> it's an amusing concept isn't it? And you've got armour plated and protecting the radiators going on there. Very wing nut wings like this presentation isn't it? I like it too. Hmm, nice to see somebody else doing something similar. And then we've got, sorry, pins. remove the pins completely. Hmm, a little seat there on the side so that a gunner can sit and look out of the slit at the side and then through the gun port. Port armoured parts, then you've got the rear door, which has got like a Maxim rear machine gun being installed. Wow. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, know, you don't want to have that compass you open up, do you? So it's showing the construction of the wall, finishing of that. The side panels, basically the armoured car, and then the roof going on. Over here we've got driver's hatch, so you can get out in an emergency. And then, of course, it's going to have a, ultimately it's going to have like a turret on the top, isn't it? Uh, the driver's hatch for viewing out the front and up. Installation of the hand crank at the front. Uh, inst installing the wire cutters. It's got wire cutters that can drive through barbed wire. Gosh. Um, in case they put wire across the road, of course, booby traps and things. Headlamp on the front. And then you've got rubber wheels, it seems, uh, going in on the as, as tyres. Um, you've got fenders, uh, wood guards, and front bumpers. Uh, you've got turnbuckles going in. Mm, okay. Uh, side lamp so they can shine lamps to the side and then you've got the installation of the wheels and the engine protection, it's like a sub protection is that under, yeah that's underneath it, that's just against mines I suppose isn't it not sure, it's not exactly an MRAP but anyway and then you're going to build up your um, your turret, gun turret at the top and there's two different options Fiat Revell 35 machine gun and you've got a different one that's got like a cooling jacket. Oh, is that the way? No, it is. It just sorry. It has the cooling jacket fitted at a later date. And there's two of them, in fact. So it's quite it packs quite a punch, doesn't it? You've got a machine gun out the back. You've got two out this turret. Yeah, quite a lot of firepower, certainly in a a light sort of urban environment. And then over here, you've got the uh, the chassis being built up, and it shows the colours for them, what they should look like. Again, very wing nut wings like, showing the shading and the colours. And then the two different types of machine guns. Oops. I didn't like the instructions, I do. And then you've got basically your colour call outs at the end with your decals going on the side. Uh, different sort of different campaigns, different visibility markings. Huh. And then you've got the camo version. And then you've got the Barcelona one here, Spanish Civil War, 
ex Italian expeditionary forces causing trouble, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah, you've got the dark green one, and you've got the 1943 the, uh, for the Balkans units, more of a low key thing. Wow, well, that was very impressive. Um, that's the that's the probably the first time since Wing Not Wings that we've had that sort of uh, visual, almost photographic presentation. Apart from Qatari, of course. <coughs> and of course, you get a you get a touch of that with Zokimura, don't you? Um, very nice, though. Very nice. I like that. So that's a good, great start. It's going well so far. Let's have a look at the decals. <coughs> now then, don't know who does them for them. Going to tell us, Cartagraph. Cartograph do it, well, that makes sense on an Italian Lancia, doesn't it, really? Well, then, can I get them out? Because they're going to be a bit resistant, I think. If I put it in a very tight little bag, to be honest. Right, here we go. Obviously, there's not a huge amount of decals on this vehicle, but being cartographed, they look extremely nice, they're very sharp. You can see here that they are, they've got minimum carrier film. There's no excess carrier film on them. Yeah, very nice. Huh. It's got a lot of red letters, don't they, in there? Uh, registration, uh, car reg numbers. Interesting. Very nice. Very nice indeed. The question is, can I get them back in the bag? That's going to be a challenge of its own, isn't it? Didn't want to come out. <sighs> That's for sure. Not easy there, just slightly bend it very gently. It's going in there, doesn't it? Reduces the width, doesn't it? <laughs> there we go. That's excellent. Very nice, those. Now then, plastic. Let's have a look. First of all, we've got some rubber tyres that are in a bag, a resealable bag. So let's have a look at those. What do we think of these? Oh, those are rather nice, actually. Splendid. Check this out. If I can get it close enough for you. Look at those. The tread on that, isn't that nice? Oh yes. Very, very good. There's no writing on the side, there's no uh, no inscription or anything. Oops. But um yeah, a, a really nicely moulded rubber tire, which is a fairly rare thing to be honest. So that is uh, quite Almost unexpectedly good. <laughs> so I'll pop that back in with the rest of them. Very nice. Then we get to the plastic. So what have we got? So first of all, oh, it's open. Okay, that's good. Uh, so we've got our turret. This is the real business end of this vehicle, isn't it? For sure. You can see this is where the guns poke out. Look like at that. Yeah, it's nice plastic as well. Very hard plastic it is. Feels very hard. Hmm. Almost tack on hard. <laughs> Started grumbling about tack on though. Yeah, it was strange though, plastic though. I, I found it very odd, hard to get used to in terms of clean up when you've uh, cut things off the sprue. You, it takes you ages to clean it up. It's just very resistant to being trimmed or even sanded. But those are nice, beautiful. Yeah. Nice parts. Then we've got some wheels. Is this one open? Yes, it's open. Oh, that's good. That's good. Got to cut again. So, <coughs> obviously these guys with your with your tyres, but those are those are rather splendid, aren't they? Yes, like those. Think wrong with them? That's a super. Yeah, very nice. Like it, like it, like it. Mm. Okay, uh, there's two of those identical twin sprue. There we go. And then we've got another wheel, and this has got the uh, the sort of uh, mud guards or fenders on it as well. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I can't understand why they don't say it's a Lancia on the cover of the box, though. 
I think that would actually help sell it better rather than just calling it something that a name that no one's ever really heard of. Um, I think the Lancio name would would help give it a bit of character somehow. So there's your fenders, mud guards. They seem to be, and there's also the uh, the front headlight. A couple of ancillary parts. Hmm. Nice though, aren't they? Again, they're very, it's very hard plastic. Jolly hard. It's almost like ABS, isn't it? It's the second time I've had a kit that seems to be ABS in a week. <laughs> Right, we've got some clear parts which I don't think I'll take out. They're just little lenses just for the indicators of side lights as well. And then you've got the lens for the, the main headlight. Looks very nice. <coughs> no, then. Is that open? Yes, it is. Yeah, they don't seem to the heat seal them strangely. Right, now we're getting into some of the business end. This is nice. So we've got the machine guns here. So we've got the one that goes at the back and then the one that's going to go in the turret. There we go. How's that? Nice, 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 nice. And there's this one. And you've got your side panel for your turret there. And you've got your uh, protection here for your radiator grill. And then you've got um, the front driving wheel set. Is that just... No, I don't think those wheels are actually used in this variant. No, I think those are not used, these. I think not. Ignore that. Okay, so that's very nice indeed. Now we're going to get some of the smaller parts, I think, now. we will get to see a duplication there as well. There's two lots of everything. So I think that those regular looking wheels are probably from the car version of the kit. I'm not sure why, they've got two of them. So you've got, you know, that's certainly nice formation in the, uh, the quality of the moulding, it seems lovely. And um, here we go. Now, the smaller parts, here we go. So you've got all your engine components and your chassis here. And you've got your chassis complete with its leaf springs already fixed in place, which is nice. And you've got your engine, bottom of your engine here. You're going to build up the, as your sump, engine sump here. And then you've got your cylinder head here, I think it is, cylinder head. And then you've got your main sort of engine with its four cylinders here in the middle. <laughs> and then you've got your side, the side of the engine, the main block. Steering wheel. Nicely detailed, isn't it? It's a lovely detail. I love the fan at the front, the radiator fan. That's really nicely moulded. Look at that. That's a corker. It really is nice. And you've got the top there of the uh, on top of the cylinder head. That's really cool. Here you've got your axles. Um, it's got drum brakes, hasn't it? I think this one, almost certainly. And then you've got your uh, end of the gearbox here. Bell crank housing. Um, <clears throat> here you've got your handbrake. Yeah. Very detailed, finely detailed parts. They're actually really nice. Very a bit like wing nut wings. Actually, it reminds me of wing nut wings. In, not just in the instructions, but the parts as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then last but not least, we've got yeah, the baggers are very lightly sealed. Oh, strange that they open like that. But anyway, then we've got the, the real business end of it where we've got the uh, the main panels here, the side panels for your armoured car. And you've got some lovely rivets on the side, raised rivets. Very tactile those are. And then you've got a couple of the, I think it's the rear fenders here. And you've got the main interior here for the armoured car and you've got you know, full radiator armour protection. And then you've got your under the chassis, under the engine armour protection there. And then you've got your 
rear door with a slit in it. Sorry, I think that's the front door. That's the rear door. I think that's the gun firing through it, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a very nice little kit, is this, actually. There's your uh, exhaust muffler, exhaust system. Wow. Well, interesting one for me, this. It's like, talk about relatively low expectations, didn't know what to expect really. But it's a really nice kit, isn't it? It's a really, really good kit. I can understand why people like Copper State models, having not encountered them before. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, um, it would have been nice if they could have put some figures in, or a figure at least. That would have been cool. One in the front, one in the back would have been good, wouldn't it? But it's a nice kit. I'm not sure what this retails for. I suspect it's around about the... I'm guessing it's around about the £50 mark. So I to guess. Just looking at those instructions tells you it's not going to be a cheap kit. Um, really, really interesting. So, 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 what do we think? I'm going to give it 9 out of 10 because it way exceeded expectations. It's got the loveliest instructions since Wing Not Wings, really. And the parts are nice, they're all nicely formed, there's not really any flash and, you know, there's some nice nice interior details. Um, the moulding of the tyres, even though they're rubber, is really good. It'll look great, that, when you build it up. Well, thank you very much for Stu to Stuart for giving us that, enlightening me. <laughs> I've been educated a little bit today. Nice kit, very nice kit indeed. So if you're into something like that, a little bit unusual, make a good diorama with that, couldn't you? I'm sure you could. So it just, just needs a couple of figures to really make it perfect. So 9 out of 10 is where I'm at. I hope you'll give me 10 out of 10. Uh, with a thumbs up, a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if you are a regular subscriber, don't forget to ding the notification bell. And it's very important to select the all option because that way you'll be notified of everything that I produce. Uh, and in the meantime, until we, until we meet again and I have another video for you to watch, which I'm sure won't be in the too distant future, Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, found it interesting. Until next time, stay well, stay safe, stay warm. Thanks a lot and bye for now.